Hey guys, welcome to Resiliency Radio, your go-to podcast for the most cutting-edge insights in integrative and functional medicine. I'm your host, Dr. Jill, and with each episode, we dive into the heart of healing and personal transformation. Join us as we interview thought leaders, renowned experts, and innovators who are at the forefront of medical research, and really just here to empower you uh, for overall healing and optimal health in your journey. Today, I am so excited to have my friend and neighbor, Sarah Glenn. Sarah began advocating for new approaches to health and wellness as an indie publisher in 2007. She then launched an international service learning exchange to improve maternal health, which expanded to become the first online certification program for professional midwives. She has also led a successful content marketing agency, overseeing large-scale digital content initiatives for Sounds True Publishing, Quicksilver Scientific, and HomeWatch Caregivers. She's collaborated with leaders at Google, Facebook, Microsoft, LinkedIn, and Veterans Health Administration to promote mindfulness programs for employees during the COVID lockdown. She holds dual degrees in women's studies and psychology, along with a graduate certificate, sorry, yeah, certificate in community development from the University of Colorado Boulder. She completed a three-year independent study and apprenticeship as a home birth midwife and extensive training in Hatha yoga, Vipassana, heart-centered meditation, Reiki, energy work, and traditional herbalism. Um, The best thing about Sarah is she is one of those innovators, connectors. I just remember the first time we met Sarah and the energy was just like, boom, right? Like I remember the coffee shop and and we've kind of known of each other, but just like it was such a great synergy of two innovators and like ideas and we were just popping off ideas. And I suspect that's the way you are with most other entrepreneurs, but it was just an absolute joy and an immediate connection on a deep level when we met. Um, So welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jill. It was an immediate and deep connection and um, super grateful for you. Thank you for having me here. You're welcome. Um, so today uh, we want to talk about a new approach, um, shaping the future of wellness, a new approach to health is our title. And people are like, okay, what does that really mean? Um, let's start though with your journey. I alluded to a little bit of it in the intro, but you had a very interesting journey and lots of uh, twists and turns, but along the way, it's made you such an amazingly resilient and also like vibrant personality with so many gifts and talents. Tell us a little bit about your journey into health and wellness. Yeah, there's a saying that I love, which is breakdown breakthrough. One of my mentors taught me this, and I've also heard it uh, called pain to purpose and and many other things. But I think a lot of us who ultimately end up um, in acting, working as healers or innovating in the product space are doing so from a, uh, it emerges out of a personal experience. Um, So my platform Dragonfly is actually all about transformation. What makes a dragonfly unique is that its metamorphosis is instant and complete. A dragonfly does not spend time in the cocoon. A dragonfly emerges from the murky waters and flies right away. So um, what I experienced on my own health journey was that as soon as I had a certain level of awareness and with the right support and information, I have been able to uh, transform situations that were dire into some of the the greatest opportunities and also achievements of my life. Um, So in the beginning, uh, in the very, very beginning, I was actually separated from my mother at an early age. Uh, And I did spend my younger years um, looking up at the moon and wondering where she was and wishing for her. I was ultimately reunited with her, but that void in my life is what drove me to get a degree in women's studies when I became a young woman. And then also to choose midwifery as my first um, path in healing. I wanted to make sure that as many moms and babies as possible could stay connected and bonded um, coming out of that that pain that I'd experienced as a young child. Um, And then it wasn't, uh, well, and then I became a mother myself and uh, decided to get to try to make some money (laughs) and to be home more often. So I ended up getting into marketing and publishing um, professionally. And I was kind of cruising along following the different threads. Uh, I ultimately was kind of what I thought was the pinnacle of my career when um, I went blind uh, and I lost my vision for about a week. I had a massive inflammatory um, response in my body. And the doctor, the conventional medical community diagnosed me with multiple sclerosis. Um, So that was, of course, very scary. 
Um, and by all conventional measures, it, it was multiple. It was a, an MS episode. Um, I did recover my vision quickly from an anti-inflammatory diet, but I um, it took me many years to fully recover my speech and my full memory and, and brain capacity. Oh, there goes the school bus. You can see we, this is afternoon time for us here in Boulder. <laughs> um, so, and my son will be walking in the door soon. Um, so what, um, it was very interesting to be on the other side of the table. I had spent years training as a health professional and then uh, was the founder of a midwifery school. I was an administrator. I built curriculums all around um, maternal health and wellness. And here I was, uh, searching. I was just, I was just like most other people. I didn't know where to turn. I just knew that I wanted that the answers that I was being given weren't enough. They weren't, they weren't, they didn't feel totally right. It felt like only part of the story. Uh, so I spent a couple of years during my recovery, exploring all kinds of alternative modalities. And um, I do credit those ultimately for my healing. I haven't had another uh, MS episode. Now I'm not saying, um, you know, that there's only one right way to go about healing MS. So please nobody comment or call or ask me for advice in this. Um, but what I will say is that I discovered along the way that there's a lot of great information out there that is very hard to find. And that ultimately led me to create Dragonfly. Uh, so that I could, and what Dragonfly is all about is media, including events, educational media, um, digital media, so in-person and digital media uh, to help people discover new approaches to health and wellness, connect with the best healers and restore the body's innate power to heal. Love, love, love. That's why I love talking to you, Sarah, and love the connection. First of all, I just want to comment because one thing that is very clear in your journey is you have a deep intuition and a profound ability to kind of have a vision of what the future needs and what the future holds. So it, I, I think that's one reason we're connected because I know years ago, I didn't know I was a visionary, but as we get with common visionaries, I was like, wait, we, we have this like deep, deep knowing of what needs to transform and change. And one of the things in your journey to heal from MS is really trusting your own body's innate wisdom and intuition. And I love you almost commented about that with even people listening, everybody's journey is going to be different, right? And I love that you alluded to that, like your journey is not going to be the next person's journey. And even with me, with patients with MS, every single one of them is different. And part of my job as a healer is to teach them to touch base with their own intuition about what feels right. And of course, with the science and the background of my medical, you know, help, but it's really about them finding the correct path and me just being a guide. And you've been a guide to so many as well. And now, again, we're going to talk about Dragonfly and about what's coming to Boulder in October. Um, <laughs> you know, let's just cut to the chase and talk quickly about that. And then we can talk all around it. But tell us what you have developed and what we're doing next month in Boulder. And I want to make sure anyone listening has a chance to get a ticket and be part of this incredible event. Great. Um, well, one of the things that I discovered on my healing journey was that the the essential, an essential ingredient to health is community. So wellness week is all about building community. And this, uh, what we're going to be doing in Boulder is celebrating health and life and the connections that we have to each other and forging new connections. Um, this is what will help us all to not only stay on the cutting edge of health and wellness and learn from the experts, which we're going to be doing, um, but also to uh, stay, be surrounded by others who um, know without a doubt that it's possible to heal and be healthy um, and who, who really share a similar passion for health and wellness. So um, at the core, uh, we, we have this sort of catchphrase, which is shaping the future of wellness together. Uh, and we are going to provide a lot of, there's a lot of different things happening all at the same time. That's why we've made it wellness week, not wellness day or wellness conference or wellness summit, um, mm -hmm. because we're going to be, <laughs> we're going to be doing a lot of things. And just over the course of the week, um, people who participate will have a chance to network, um, with local practitioners, which I think is essential. Um, it's one thing to go out to a conference or a summit somewhere else. Um, it's a whole nother thing to get to know 
know the amazing practitioners and professionals that are right here in your own community. So we have both. We have people coming in from all over the world. And we also have a lot of people, about 75% of the experts featured during Wellness Week are from right here in Colorado. Um, so those experts are that are participating will be, um, we're calling it an emerging trends forum. We have 150 industry pioneers and local experts, and we have 50 sessions. These are going to be interactive sessions where I, I have this little catchphrase. I like catchphrases. Um, so another one of my catchphrases is the expert in the chair next to you is as important as the expert on stage in front of you. Um, how often do we go to conferences or do we go anywhere really? And then we, we start actually chatting it up with the person next to us and they are the ones who have the answers that, we're, that we need there. It's the people next to us that often point us in the right direction. And because we have so many people coming together, in this instance, it will be true that a lot of the people sitting next to you will also um, actually be authors and experts and practitioners. Um, but even if they weren't, I do still believe that we're each the best, most important, uh, the best expert on our own health, and then um, the people around us are as important as the people in front of us. Uh, so we will be talking about groundbreaking research and gaining fresh new insights together in a conversational format, um, which is more like a summit or a forum um, inside of, we're calling it uh, the Emerging Trends Forum. Um, we also are going to do a lot of really fun things as a community. Um, we have a film festival, the Iris Global Health Film Festival coming into town. And Jill, we will actually be kicking that off with your amazing movie, Dr. Patient. And there will be a big celebration and party for that on Wednesday evening. Um, that will be at E-Town Hall on October 16th. So I hope Actually, that Tuesday the 15th. Tuesday. Oh, <laughs> okay. that will be. Thank you. I was, I, whenever you start looking up, I'm no, like, oh, no, okay, I know there's like a million things to somewhere. <laughs> okay. So yes, um, I'm sorry. So Jill, you're the, uh, so the big party where we are going to be celebrating Dr. Patient, which was the inspiration for Iris Global Health Film Festival and is going to be how we kick off the entire wellness week will be happening Tuesday, October 15th at E-Town Hall here in Boulder. Um, I hope that everyone in your community is able to come out um, from near and far. Uh, the beauty is that this film festival, Iris Film Festival with over 30 documentary films playing throughout the week will be um, sort of cocooned, I guess we're going to use a butterfly analogy instead yep. of a dragonfly analogy, <laughs> inside of this um, emerging trends forum with a lot of experts coming to town and then also several fun community events. Um, Saturday evening, we have comedy for the health obsessed at the Trident Cafe. Um, on Thursday and Friday, we have um, a grand celebration and a VIP speaker reception. The grand celebration is going to be three stories um, filled with healing stations. And we have an international DJ, come, two international DJs coming in. We're going to invite everyone to dress to the nines, um, dress as your most excellent self and uh, come in for some swanky non-alcoholic elixirs and a really beautiful embodied evening with movement um, and performance as well as music and dance and, and lots of places to, to sit down and, and spend time with others. Uh, and then all of those 150 speakers and experts will be in the room on Friday night for our VIP reception. Um, in the mornings, we'll be going for hikes uh, we'll be doing yoga, we'll be doing ecstatic dance, we'll be doing meditations for happiness, we'll be doing breath work and cold plunging. And then if you have your family um, here in town or want to bring your family into town on the weekend, we're doing breath work for families on the stage for children too, right out on Pearl Street in the middle of Pearl um, in front of the courthouse. And uh, we also have a two day free and open to the public exhibit hall which I'm really excited about because I am a, an in, insider in the industry. I spend a lot of time traveling to these conferences and getting to try out all the latest and greatest technology. And I said to these company owners, I said, please come to Boulder and bring your innovations and let my community try these things. Um, we have so many people in the on the front range in Denver and Boulder um, in this whole area, Fort Collins, uh, Colorado Springs, 
We have people and out west too. We haven't forgotten about you guys. Come on over. Uh, <laughs> um, we have a lot of people who are really curious and really interested. So instead of having to pay fees to go into um, uh, the local biohacking clinic, you can actually come in for free and try out these products. And the founders and creators of these products will be standing there at the booths and tables to greet you. So you can ask them questions about everything that's going on. Um, so, so yeah, we're going to, <laughs> we have community events free and open to the public on Pearl Street. We have comedy, we have film festival, we have all kinds of beautiful interactive things in the morning, again, free and open to the public. And then we have this emerging trends forum where the experts are getting together and you being one of the experts, um, everyone in the room we consider to be an expert to talk about the future of health and wellness. And so this is why I say we are shaping the future of wellness together. It truly takes a village. Um, um, so we are, I, we're resurrecting the village here. I think we've all gotten really scattered, right? Scattered to the wind, um, hiding in our homes. And this is a chance to come out and to be together and see what's happening, um, not only from the visiting experts, from, but from all of those amazing innovators and practitioners right here in Colorado. Sarah, now you guys all who are listening can see why I love this girl. <laughs> I, mean, I love this idea. First of all, it's really something very different. It's community ground based as far as like really bringing the community on board, those who are curious, those who already know. And I also love the quality of, I, I get to, you know, be there on a panel and speak and show the movie, but I'm no more of an expert than my neighbor or the person sitting beside me or the patient that comes to see me. And I love that mentality because so often when we come with that humility, we just, I know I always learn from those around me. In fact, last year, there was a, a big event that I went to speak at and share the movie. And it was a bunch of very, very wealthy entrepreneurs. And I had the sense in my heart of I was supposed to be there, but it wasn't about meeting those people that were speaking and putting it on and the, you know, the very wealthy kind of, uh, it was like, there's someone at this place that I'm supposed to meet. And I knew it in my heart. And what turned out is another person there we met connected and we're going to be doing some work um, with just uh, encouraging and inspiring and educating physicians. But it all came from going there and sitting beside this person that I was supposed to meet. And he was just an equal. There was no, you know, and we're both. So all that to say, so often you don't know what the purpose and meaning is. And you might think you're going to learn from an expert, but the truth is that person beside you might be your new best friend or your new connection, or might be the person that gives you an idea for the next transformative experience. So I really like this new consciousness about how you're doing things. And it means a lot to be part of it. Um, I'm, I'm honored. So uh, let's just, for everyone, give the dates. It's October 15th through 19th or 20th. Is that correct? That's right. We start, we kick off on Tuesday evening with the Iris Global Home, Iris Global Health Film Festival and your movie, Dr. Patient. And then we end on Sunday Perfect. Um, with the exhibit hall awesome. closing down at 6 p.m. on Sunday on Pearl Street. Fantastic. So people want to know more about where to go, how to sign up. What's your main website landing page where they can view all of this? Oh, okay. So something else that's happening at this event that I am very excited about is the launch of Dragonfly Connect app and Dragonfly TV. So you can find tickets to the event. You can register for free for every aspect of the event. And after you do that, it will take you to ticket upgrade options if you want them and also some fun giveaways and things. So you can find all of that at the Dragonfly Connect app. It's just dragonflyconnect.app. Um, go there and it, the first thing that will pop up is Wellness Week and it will, uh, you can learn more, scroll down and at the bottom, give us your name and your email and you'll be good to go. You'll receive more information from us and again, uh, be prompted to take advantage of some other things. Um, so the Dragonfly Connect app in the long term, what this will do is connect people, businesses, more events happening grassroots style. Our goal is that people connect year round and not just online, but in person. So it's like an event, right? concept uh, inside of the Connect app. So you can host a dinner, you can host a talk in your home or at your office and invite your community to come in. Um, also, we'll be launching offers. So it's like Groupon. Um, I'm a female founder, so I didn't just build a product or just an event. I'm building an entire ecosystem here. <laughs> and so in this ecosystem, you'll find the people, the businesses, uh, the events, 
and also offers or discounts on the products and services that you love, um, all in the same app. And you'll also, last but not least, have access to Dragonfly TV. So everyone who comes in will be able to get a free subscription for a month to watch uh, films from the film festival that sign up to be part of it, to watch our enlightening talk series, over 55 experts, uh, giving you TED style talks to inspire you to think differently about health, along with lots of amazing aggregated content that we're bringing in. We're taking the best podcasts and we're turning them into talk shows. Jill, I hope you'll be in there. <laughs> and um, we're also filming docu-series and we're inviting a lot of incredible creators to come onto the platform so that you have a trusted resource. Uh, for for all things health and wellness. I'm calling it edutainment. Um, oh, you know, love. Like, yeah. <laughs> love, so, love. That was one of the things we first talked about. Like people need, first of all, there's so much vying for attention and uh, so much like not quality. And I love that you're curating really quality, but not only just great content on Dragonfly TV, but also the connection component. Because I think what's happened is we've all gotten in our own homes on our Netflix. In fact, the part of the documentary happened because I was sitting in 2021 in my chair meditating. And like, are people even reading books anymore? I need to be on screens because that's where people are. And people are, they're scrolling through their things but hopefully what you can get from this dragonfly experience and the app and the connection is actually quality curated content from people you can trust and then the best part is the other c the connection <laughs> love that's it right. yeah that's right um the it's we we had the we had a decision point were we going to create another social media app and i actually made a concrete decision no i want people to connect with the products and the services and the people that we need to thrive. And I want people to get out from behind their screens and go host a party or a dinner or go to a party or go to a dinner or just go out to coffee and talk to your friends about how you love this new product or decide to all, you know, get on board with a vitamin or the, a new supplement protocol or a new diet for a month. Um, so, so the idea here, it's not, it is a social marketplace, but it's not about necessarily sharing your story through just pictures and posts. We've got plenty of that going on. Um, you actually earn points and rewards on this social media platform by contributing to your community. So when you host an event, when you attend an event, when you watch or review a piece of content, um, you actually, you earn points, you earn coins. Um, and if you're one of those people in the blockchain and Web3, we've got some really exciting things happening on that front with this platform as well. So we're going to be building an economy based on giving and contributing to the community rather than taking or or trying to manipulate and getting likes and ultimately just being left empty and, and void and feeling more separate. Um, so we called it Connect. And at every turn, that's what we're we're experimenting with is how to connect. Yeah. <laughs> love, love, love. So amazing. So give us the app download website again, because I think that's where people would start is to go to that. Give us that website again. And if you're listening, driving, don't worry. In the show notes, wherever you're watching, listening, you'll find the links here. But go ahead and give that verbally so that people can take note. Great. It's dragonflyconnect.app. Perfect. So you can remember dragonflies because they're beautiful. This is not a firefly or a butterfly. This is a dragonfly. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's about connecting and then dot app, just APP. Awesome. Yeah. Very cool. So for those local or not local who want to come to the wellness week, um, you can also get information through the app. Is that the best way to start for the actual wellness week? Okay. And again, guys, starting October 15th with my movie. Yay. <laughs> I'm so honored with that piece, Sarah. Um, but there's going to be so, so, so much. You won't want to miss this, especially if you guys are listening and you are part of our community anywhere in Colorado, you absolutely want to be here. If you're out of state, please come in <laughs> as well. Um, Sarah, thank you for being the brilliant entrepreneur that you are. Um, it is so easy to see that you were meant to do this work and you're just getting started. Well, thank you. And if you're not local, if you are not based in Colorado, you can still register for Wellness Week and you'll still get access to all. We have uh, over 200 companies participating with discounts uh, in our offer section. And then again, we have the films and we have the enlightening talks and lots of great content coming your way wherever you are. Also, you can uh, take the Connect app and create an event in your own community and stay tuned because we're going to be launching Wellness Weeks in cities across the country and around the world over the coming years. 
Amazing. Well, I can't wait to be part of it. Can't wait to see you there and uh, be involved in every level. Sarah, thanks for taking time today to explain. And uh, guys, thanks for another episode for listening to Resiliency Radio. You guys know you can get all the show notes, transcripts, previous episodes, anywhere you watch podcasts, and especially if you want the full download uh, transcript at jillcarnahan.com. Thanks again for joining. If you like this content, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next time. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Sarah. Ciao.